Everybody loves soul food. We have people from Ireland, from Italy, from Brazil, because it's authentic American cuisine. The word, she was a good word, soul. She'll call it death food, because <laughs> it will kill you. The most important thing is that people complicate their understanding of what soul food is because it's easy to say that it's the bane of African-American health. Fat is a very strong source of calories. Things that just too much sugar, too much salt, and hypertension. I mean, that's, this is a major problem. I can't stand somebody who look in your plate and tell you what you should do. You eat what you please. You got your own route, I take mine. The whole part of this discussion about food is about culture. And there can be, at times, a sense that culture is static. And so soul food is black culture, and we need to hold on to it because that's what our ancestors did. Our ancestors changed. I was in a prison one time, and I was talking to prisoners. I said, what is soul food? This brother in the back, it must have been 60s. He said, soul food is an amalgamation of many different cultures. I was like, dang, you know, this brother's deep. That's what soul food is. It's simple but deep. Fast food is definitely more damaging than soul food. And I'll tell you why. Fast food exists to try to figure out how to make money. Soul food is about a particular culinary tradition. The term soul food, first of all, does not exist in any documents until around the late 1960s, mid 60s. Soul food kind of emerged when soul emerged. Actually, the tradition of cooking in the South is not limited to those things, but is very broad. This is how I feel about this food, you know? We've been doing this. African Americans have been green. We've been eating close to the land. We've been thinking about, you know, ways that we could be eco-sustainable. We just didn't call it that. Food justice, uh, you know, means that no matter who you are, no matter where you live, no matter what your background is, that you have access to, uh, you know, to quality, healthy food. So on every block, an uh, urban African American community, which we typically think of, there's plenty of fast food joints, but not very many Whole Foods or um, good grocery stores where people can get fresh food. We need to start with raising happy, healthy kids who are eating nutritious food, who are known how to cook the nutritious food, and maybe can make some money off selling the nutritious food. What is it that you love about soul food? Oh man, it's just, it's just full of flavor. I like crawfish etouffee and jambalaya gumbo. Everything to me, I was raised on it, so. I love it. The problem with talking about a connection between food and nutrition is that it's a long-term thing. So it's not the food you ate this morning, the last week, or even this year. It's the food you have been eating every day of your life for the past 10, 12, 20 years.